Everybody thinks you just focus the lens and you push the button. What's so fucking hard about it? I wasn't really into doing art, you know? I couldn't draw for shit, I couldn't tattoo, I couldn't do graffiti, I can't paint. Then I started realizing that, you know, Photography was an art. Everybody wants to have pictures of celebrities and, you know, behind the scenes type shit in their house and, you know, like, hey, there's Ali at a party with, you know, Frank Sinatra and shit like that. But when it comes to, you know, having a picture of Spanky, you know, from the West Side, you know, they're like, you know, they, they're buying that too. They didn't have to be famous or it didn't have to be anything, you know, it was just uh, uh, the way I took the picture and of, you know, the, the person inside, the, the feeling that I captured. When I first started taking pictures, I was just taking pictures of shit I was around, you know? If I take a picture of a fucking tree or if I take a picture of a homie, it's the same shit to me, you know? The tree's just planted in the ground and the, the homies are right there, planted in, in, you know, in their neighborhood. It's just shit that happens, you know? Like a lot of the, a lot of the, the fools in, in my pictures, you know, there's a good, you know, there's a good amount of people in my shows, you know, that are already dead or busted or doing life or, you know. Like right now I have five good friends that are, that are doing time, you know. And it just happens real quick and, you know, one minute they're out here having fun, trying to do their, do their thing and the next minute they're gone for, you know, for life, you know, their, their life to, to turn, turns around, changes completely. And it's so easy, it's so, you can get fucking twisted up so quick. Nobody else is gonna give them a chance, you know? A, a, a guy out of prison with a gang of tattoos, you know, the first thing they do is they say, you know, the first thing they do is their racial profiling. They start looking at you like, hmm, you know, this motherfucker think he's gonna work here? He's crazy. You know, you can see it in their in their look, you know. I try, I fuck with people sometimes and go, hey, you know, can I get an application here? You know, just to trip people out. I'll walk into a store that I like and I'll be like, hey, you guys have any um, applications, you know? Or you guys looking for any employment? And they're like, oh no, we're, we're full. So I'm like, yeah, you know, see? I gotta be a fucking photographer. I gotta do what I'm doing. Cause ain't nobody out there gonna give me a fucking job or trust me with their cash register at the end of the night or the keys of their place, you know? So I gotta make it on my own. They say there's nowhere like home, you know. You know, LA's our home. Sixty to seventy percent of the people in LA aren't even from LA, you know. They're all from other other countries or other states coming here to do their dream, you know. I've been all around the world, you know, like I said I've I got three passports, you know, full. You see some incredible shit in the countries and other cities. Been everywhere, man. Brazil, um, Argentina, Peru, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, all over Europe. Everywhere I've been is, is to me, it was cool to visit, you know? But that's about it. I wouldn't want to live there, you know? I've spent all this time establishing myself here. Anywhere else I go, I gotta start all over, you know?
Every day, I'm, I'm unemployed. Today, I'm unemployed. I didn't work today. Tomorrow, I'm unemployed. The next day, I'm unemployed, you know? I don't have a fucking job. When people are like, oh man, yeah, it's rough out there. You know, I had to look for, you know, I was looking for a job for two weeks, you know, before I found this job and I don't even like it. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, I've been unemployed looking for a job for fucking seven years, you know? This shit, ain't nobody giving me a check every week or, you know, not banging the door down going, hey man, you, you know, you got to take my picture, you know? I got to convince somebody that they need to have pictures taken of them. Then I got to convince them that out of the thousands of guys out there, guys and girls taking pictures, that I'm the one that they should pick. Even those little photo shoots that I'm doing, like favors for people, I still do those, like if I'm shooting Blink-182 or, or 50 Cent or Eminem or Cypress Hill, you know, I shoot it the same way, you know, like the angle's got to be right, the lighting's got to be tight, because you know there's a guy hungrier than you that'll do the job for less than you, and you know there's a guy that'll charge more than you that has a bigger name, you know, so it could go either way. One, you have to have the, the eye, you know, the artistic talent. And two, you gotta have the hustle, you know? They're both equally as important. And third, you gotta have, you know, some business sense about you, you know? You gotta be able to wheel and deal with, with fucking people who have, you know, law degrees and shit, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to fucking lawyers at, for fucking Sony and Geffen and Interscope, just me, you know? They're talking to me about contracts and my rights and what, what usage do I have and is it, you know, am I doing a buyout for, you know, worldwide, you know, usage and, you know, you only learn that through experience. Every day that I take pictures, I'm learning more shit so that I could apply it to your photo shoot, you know? You're, you're just paying for what I learned on all, all that, all those other people's photo shoots. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, I practice on all of them for you. And I just tell them, you know, cheap photos aren't good and good photos aren't cheap.